if you follow my channel, you'll see a bunch of videos I made about the Harbor Freight paint gun and this Rust-Oleum paint, applying stickers and actually doing a lot of stuff like decking, screwing in boards. This is the way the trailer build turned out. If you look in the playlist or any of my other videos, you'll see probably some before and afters of this trailer. Harbor Freight lights, Harbor Freight spray gun, Harbor Freight D-rings, about a gallon or less of some, I think it was bare stain, some reflectors, a couple of LED tail lights, and this is the finished product. Pretty happy with the way it turned out. The paint overall with the hardener and the Japan dry, even in cold conditions, worked really well. So hopefully you enjoyed the video and some of the tips if you found them helpful. If you uh, have any questions and want to know anything about how to spray something like this and the mix that was used, feel free to drop a comment below and I'll try to answer the best I can. Hopefully you enjoy the video. See you on the next one. Super quick video DIY. This is like a $20 Harbor Freight gun, little regulator condenser using Rust-Oleum gloss black, oil-based enamel. I picked this up at Tractor and Farm Supply. It's the Magic Catalyst Harder, Hardener. Uh, increases the gloss and the hardness, reduces the dry time. I've got some Japan Dry. Japan Dryer speeds up the dry time and flash point. And I was using acetone, about 25%, but my brother-in-law, who's a professional painter, said I should use about 20% lacquer thinner. And so we're mixing this thing up and that's what we're using. And if you ever wanted to use Rust-Oleum, that is what you can use. Those are the items. And I got this just at the local Sherwin-Williams. Well, actually they don't have that Sherwin anymore. Um, it was Rada paint. So that's what we use. Here's the trailer. We're about to break out the Harbor Freight gun here. Little tiny pancake compressor and some Rust-Oleum gloss black paint. And that's it. We're gonna see how it does with primer and no primer. We'll see the results here in a little bit. This is the uh, start of the Rust-Oleum with the hardener and the Japan Dry Rust-Oleum gloss black. Going on pretty nice. Laying on a big thick heavy coat, kind of right off the bat. Seeing how it'll stick and flash off, not too bad. It's got a haze coat right here. Bare metal, no primer. I feel like it's going pretty good. Well, all said and done, there's the trailer completely painted with the Harbor Freight paint gun, the Rust-Oleum paint with the Magic Hardener and the Japan Dry mixed with basically lacquer thinner, 20% paint, basically 80 with a little bit of a, like a cap full of Japan Dry and a cap full of the hardener. Got it at the farm supply store. Turned out really good. Sprayed up nice, tacked off. Looks like it's got a nice durable finish. So if you're looking to paint your trailer with Harbor Freight equipment and some basic Rust-Oleum professional oil-based enamel, this is what your trailer will look like. Got this Rust-Oleum color shift. Just hit this uh, black Rust-Oleum and put the color shift on this thing. One way it's green and whoa, purple. It says just add it to your base coat. It's a color shift. Shifts color at different angles.
All right, I'm about to stain this deck. Olympic Water Guard, cheap stuff, $30 from Home Depot. You can get it anywhere. Show you how I throw this stuff on there. Let's go ahead and get some in your jug right here. Trailer build, I'm usually not too worried. I'll take my can with me so I can move it along. Just kind of see how it lays on here with your brush. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just kind of see what it's going to take. Just kind of scoot along. See what one coat will do on a board. Don't be afraid to glop it out here. See what this first coat does and just kind of move along. Grab your little bucket and just keep going. Try to get in these little cracks. You can see it's soaking up some, so that's good. So that's it, just move along with your bucket, go over, just get the thing wet. Don't worry too much about it and just kind of move along. And before you know it, you'll have your whole trailer done in a matter of minutes. Take a bunch out of this roll and see what the pattern looks like. Then I'll lay it out on the trailer where I want to put them. Pick any pattern you want. I have red and silver. I have just red and I have silver, red and silver to break up smaller bays along with bigger bays. For a strip like this, that's my choice for this side right here. So you can see the setup as you move along. And lay it out like this. There's the pattern on this side. And now I'm just going to work down the rest of the trailer and pick the sides and the fenders. So hopefully you find the tips helpful. See you on the next video. One other tip I have for you along the way is if you're just eyeballing these and you're going by eye, look down your line of vision down here Make sure they're really lined up before you end up putting it on. Rub that in there, give it a little bit of heat so it sticks. Here's a quick tip you can do with your tape measure when you're measuring something and you don't want to make a mark. Here's a fresh paint job. I'm about to apply a sticker on, but I want my mark to be right there. Without making a mark, I measure down where my six inch mark would be. And then I set my tape measure up to this height. Now when I put my sticker on, I just use this for a gauge to look across. And then I can put this on without making a mark. It's another quick tip you can use your tape measure for if you use it like that. One thing I like to do when I put my reflectors on is put one on the fender. So when you look in your rearview mirror, you can actually spot where your fender and your wheel is. It's one of the things that's hardest to see when you're looking in the rear, the rear view or your side mirror. Makes it much more visible, especially at night. And for the other direction, in case the tail light goes out, it's always nice to have a reflector. That way at least people can see something shining if your uh, bulb goes out.